That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Keep away if you don't want trouble. That's the thief. You won't escape. There's nothing for you here, Mistios. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mistios judge me. Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had a drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it, or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me. I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? 
he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. If you're waiting on help from the gods, I can leave. No, please don't. Someone or something brought you here to me. Yes, my legs did. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. I'll talk to your master, and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. Always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fathom. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. Give me a moment to explain. That's close enough to begging for me. Fine. Speak. There's a man who paid you for his freedom. He'd like you to follow through on that promise. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, 
and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves. But the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Baron. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Do I have to leave Attica to be rid of you? It feels like you're everywhere I go. It is very strange, but to answer your question, yes, leaving Attica would help. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child? An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. upon you, Mistyos. Thank you. I've been up on a stiff for a Nothing gets past the eyes of Cosmos. Steve, Steve, 
Yeah. 
Surge activated. Synchronize and retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged. to depart! Commander Anzo, what next? We could go hunting. Do I look like the type that can defend myself? We won't hunt bears, Irobotos. We'll hunt liars, traitors. You know, the usual big game. Ah! The worst type of beasts! Where should we head? You can spin the wheel in any direction and you'll find the contest. Just come on, Then we have nothing to lose. Nothing but time! It's time to go! Set sail.